What's good YouTube, it's Mythos, and I'm bringing you guys a double upload today. What? Insane, right? But I know a lot of you guys are tired of BO6, I know a lot of you guys are tired of the beta. I'm gonna still upload some BO6 content I've recorded. It's gonna be coming out this whole week, and then I'm gonna bring some updated week 2 stuff obviously this weekend. I want to tap in and continue bringing Modern Warfare 3 content. Because I know a lot of you guys are still playing that game and a lot of you guys are still playing ranked. A lot of you guys are still enjoying it. Maybe you guys just bought the game. So I, wanted, I didn't want to neglect the Modern Warfare 3 community. And that's why I'm going to be providing some double upload content for you guys. And if you guys are still tapped in, please hit that like. Comment down below if you guys prefer Modern Warfare 3 or BO6. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. I think they're both great games, but very different. For the best static HV class setup in Season 5, you want to use the best muzzle in the game, which is the Quartermaster Suppressor. It's going to keep you off the radar and improve that gun kick control and that vertical and horizontal recoil control greatly. In the barrel, you're going to want to use the Garou 8 Long Barrel because this is going to give you hit scan and it's going to let you outgun a lot of the assault rifles in this game. You can see it improves by 25%. For the optic, you don't have to run an optic. I love using an optic, especially with this weapon. So I use the MK3 Reflector. If you want that extra recoil control, you could use a Jack Glasses Optic. For the stock, you're going to want to use a Spry 34 light stock because this is going to help improve that mobility and handling. And look at that, does not even affect horizontal and vertical recoil. And finally, for the secret attachment, you're going to want to use ammunition type and you're going to want to use the overpressured because this is going to increase that target flinch. So if you're shooting at them, especially if they're sniping, they're going to be missing their shots and it's going to be hard for them to lock in on you. And then I use a Renetti. This is a class setup for that class setup if you guys are interested. Stun grenades, claymores, engineer vests, munitions, box, scavenger gloves to pick up ammo when I'm running low, cover sneakers so the enemies can't hear me, compression plate for a quick fix, and EOD panning so I don't die from all these pesky lethals. Alright, let's try to get this MGB. Oh shit, he stuck me already with a the thermite. What the hell? Alright, let's see, get this guy right here. Yo, static HV is still hitting. I'm still trying to get adjusted to the movement again going back to Modern Warfare 3 feels so weird playing this man honestly I love this game I still don't know which one I like better I know I know people right now in BO6 they're like yo BO6 is way better it's gonna be I think everybody's just saying that because it's a new game but honestly I think B um, MW3 has been one of the best cars in a while maybe since 2019 I don't know 2019 was kind of crazy too I only I have not played 2019 so my opinion is honestly worthless but um, based on gameplays and I'm a big ground war guy or at least when I did play in Modern Warfare 2 so I think ground war in that game was superior and I would have played that a shit ton if we had a great ground war maps and you know access and support for it in this game it's unfortunate because I think honestly I think they really pushed that out in 2019 just for the battlefield to battlefield players to kind of steal them and bring them over to this game and they were pretty good at it and then now that they transferred over they always like they pretty much like chopped it and they're like fuck it they already moved over and honestly i don't know if you guys still play anybody of you guys still play battlefield but it's a dying game bro i don't even know i have not heard anything about anybody playing it or streaming it i'm sure there's streamers out there oh shit wow this guy's on my dick damn he really followed me man i love having the advanced uab bro we need that in the bo6 beta i don't think that they're adding it to the beta at all they might i know they're adding a chopper gunner so it's gonna be nice to have like those lethal kill streaks and see how they perform um, i wish they had like a beta zombies you know like um trial or something just to give it a shot but they know how judgmental and careful they have to be with the zombies community because a lot of no offense but a lot of people in the zombies community are karens bro i mean they want that nostalgia feeling bro we're never gonna have that nostalgia feeling again it's the same thing with Damn, why the fuck did I peek out again? It's the same thing with Call of Duty. It's never going to be like how it was in the, in the prime old old days. Because if it was, nobody, everybody would say it's shit. It's dog shit. So, you know, people always want to complain. It's never something good, you know? That's just how it is. Even for most players, damn, they're, they're throwing all these fucking lethals and tacticals right here. Yep, let's see. I wonder when the, how the Season 6 mastery well completionist camo is going to look like for this season you know for the weapon xp i think wait what do you how much do you need a million or something like that i don't even know what's added up to but i wonder it better be something crazy for the last one bro i still haven't even gotten mercury on anything because nobody 
once if this video gets 30 likes i'll get mercury on the static hv or the mcw because those are really my favorite weapons in this game that's how i'm using it in this game this is like the this game i'm using the, i think it's called like the frog something camo i just love how it's animated and i don't know this might be a dumb opinion uh might be something dumb I'm about to say but i think that they should not release animated camos for you know weekly events or you know stuff like this because i feel like it takes it away from getting animated camos from really hard challenges you know nowadays you know thank i think it benefits people who don't go for master camos but nowadays nobody's even using the mastery camos because everything is animated there's even some cameras that look better than them so it takes the whole experience away of people getting mastery cameras they're like oh why am i gonna even go for it they're gonna release an anime camera that looks better anyways which is true so i think that they should make you know these camos that are anime extremely hard to get or a, a long grind you know like the weapon xp i think they should have added more of a obsidian like challenge to unlock like obsidian and stuff like that so get like 15 kills in a game and then you can stack them instead of weapon xp i don't like the weapon xp bullshit because they can obviously nerf it they can uh, keep a cap to it i don't like that so that makes it extremely hard you know you can just and it's probably nerfed like like crap in small map mosh pit so i think they should honestly make it more of a kill base challenge to get 15 kills that's very doable for every player there is and then let's say if you're in a good lobby you're pup stomping or you're a good player you should get rewarded for getting more kills it's going to encourage movement and people moving around the game and getting more kills so I think it would be worth it. And then getting like 50 kills in 10 games or 15 games or whatever it is. And then each season, it can be maybe a new challenge. It can be like get 200 headshots or, you know, it can be um, get 200 kills after sprinting, like something like that. I think that would make it so much better and less stale. Cause right now you just grind and shoot and point. So in my opinion, I think that would have made it a lot more fun especially doing that for every camel so i would have definitely completed that for every weapon it'll be viable and maybe if you complete all of it all the weapons or at least the base what is it 36 weapons or so you should be able to you know get like a weapon damn you got me like a weapon x emblem that says a like complete or something you know for like the prestige camos and popping off right here come on i wonder if i can get a double nuke here two or three Four, I'm beaming right now. Yeah, but I'm gonna play the crap out of this game because who knows if I'm gonna play this game again soon. So, you know, just to get it out of my system. I know this game still has some bullshit, so it is what it is. Damn, what the fuck? My shit takes so slow. There's like having like fast hands or something to help with like throwing out streaks faster. I actually don't know. I don't. Do we even have. Yeah, we do have fast hands. What the fuck am I saying? I think I forgot what it's called. Commando gloves or something. Alright, let's see. Boom, boom. But when I'm so glad, honestly, I thought weapon tuning was fun, but I'm glad this game didn't have it. I just felt like it was extra R RNG, extra shit that you gotta do. Like Nick Merck said, the game is better if we keep it simple, which is true. I just don't want it too simple where I feel like we're losing all everything good out of it. You know, like the, I like the weekly challenges as they added, the completionist camp, um, challenges they added for getting, you know, uh, like a thousand, what, how many kills, 1100 kills. What is it? You get 400, 300, 700. Yeah, 1,000 kills per weapon. That was good to use because that kept me playing and grinding and using every camo and every weapon. So, oh shit, it's this guy. 9, 10, damn, good shots. Yeah, I'm going to miss this game a lot. Honestly, I might even tap into this game time to time. Like, just to experience it again. Let's see, 1 kill. Beam it. I, it's it's crazy to me how they haven't nerfed this. And I gotta call this bitch in. Hurry up. Let's go. I just noticed the time. Let's go. Let's pop this in. Yes, sir. Get this guy right here. Oh, where the fuck you going, boy? Where are you camping? Ah, uh, I think you had a shotgun too. You failed. Five kills. Six. Ah, uh, but that's GG's, bro. Hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. Expect more daily uploads.